welcome to worship this morning. We're going to start off by singing, Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Let's sing together. We stand and lift up our hands, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down and we worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He. Together we see. Together we sing, holy is the Lord God Almighty, the earth is filled with His glory, holy is the Lord God Almighty, the earth is filled with His glory. We stand and lift up our hands, for the Lord joy of the Lord is our strength. Worship Him now, how great and awesome is He. Together we sing, together we sing. Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory.
purify my heart let me be as gold and precious silver purify my heart let me be as gold pure My heart's one desire is to be holy, set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to from within and make me holy purify my heart cleanse me from my sin deep within refiner's fire my heart's one desire <coughs> is to be Set apart for you, Lord, I choose to be holy. Set apart for you, my master, ready to do your will. Refiner's fire, my heart. One desire is to be holy, set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to do. powerful words and uh, one of the words there it's four letters 
It begins with H and it ends with Y, and it has the two little letters in between. Holy. Holy. And and so we don't often hear people say, uh, I'm a holy person, do we? We often hear people say, my life's so messed up, or um, this happened this week, and, and this is what my life is like. And I don't like what my life is like. I want my life to be different. I want it to be changed. Yeah. And, uh, for many, for Christians, Christianity seems to obsess with holiness uh, as one of its most distasteful qualities, I think. Mm. And uh, it's, it's not something that we as Christians talk about a whole lot. No. You know why? Because it's hard. It is hard. <laughs> holiness. It's hard. Holiness is not, it's not easy. It's not comfortable. We've been talking about comfortable, being comfortable the last couple of weeks, but holiness is hard stuff. Exactly, and I think it brings into a factor too that when we talk about holiness or when we're in that pursuit of holiness, it involves the, for us as individuals, it involves us to acknowledge the fact that there's sin in our lives and then the necessity of repentance of that sin. And so these two words are not very fashionable, uh, sin and repentance, are they? They're not no. two words that are used in the common everyday conversations that we would have with one another. And in addition to applying that we are not good people, the word sin and repentance and holiness kind of conjures up images of, of, past, of past people of you know images of people that were um, on TV shows or uh, deceptively sweet, yeah. you know, and uh, or even something like those kind of creepy church ladies, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? What I mean, and uh, and so sometimes I think those word holiness has been holy has been taken out of context. Exactly. And uh, so even devout Christians can become uncomfortable with that word. And uh, because I don't think we like the emphasis on holiness or on sanctification because it kind of talks about or morphs us into that works right righteousness, that works, mer works merited righteousness, I right. should say, yeah. where there's a history of God's covenant with God's people and relationship that God has had with his people knowing that his grace is always sufficient to help us to live holy lives and the fact that it is about our response of obedient living to God. And, uh, and so when we look in scripture, we see that Jesus is kind of raising the bar. And if we, the more time we spend in quietness, the more with God, the more time that we spend in our prayer life, the more time that we spend in reading and unpacking his word, he, Jesus kind of keeps raising that bar. He raises the bar. He raises and, the bar. And sometimes we feel that that bar is out of reach. But you know what? It's but for the grace of God, mm -hmm. but for his strength. And, uh, and when we feel that way, we know that that journey, we are growing, mm -hmm. right? It's if we didn't great. feel that way, there would be nothing happening within. We can't be a Christian toddler all our lives. That's true. We got to grow in grace and in the holiness of, of, mm. of God. And, but we can't be so heavenly minded that we're no earthly good. That's right. God's yeah. holiness yeah. Is, is made. We, we talked about love the past week, right? Mm. And, and it, it's action, holiness in action. Being God's people, being God's disciples out in the marketplace, having love for one another, being holy. People see that, people realize that, and that draws more and more people onto uh, his side and more and more people into the fold and family of God, and, our and so, holiness. Yeah, exactly. That's just exactly where I was going next. <laughs> I knew, I, I I knew that. I, I knew love that. this. And, and, you know, it's about being noticeably different. Um, a light in the dark world. Exactly. Uh, it's, a, it's a difference for, for the sake of the mission. Yeah. Uh, it's being, uh, you know, here was Abraham, if you go back into scripture, uh, in Genesis 12, Abraham was called by God to leave his, his homeland. He was called by, called by God to leave what he knew, to go to somewhere that he didn't know anything about, uh, to found a new nation, an unknown land, an uncomfortable obedience, an uncomfortable difference. And he was called by God to 
come out of his comfort zone and just be obedient. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that over the last few weeks, when God has nudged me, I've kind of a little bit at first argued with God and say, <laughs> I don't I have enough on my plate, Lord? Can you possibly not add anything else to it? <laughs> and then God says, yes, but if you're obedient to me, I will supply your needs. I will give you the grace. I will give you the resources that you need in order to fulfill the task to which I am calling you. And, and so it's because God is holy. Uh, we sung of be holy for I, I am, am holy. holy. That's right. Right, in Leviticus. And, and so God's holiness is not a joke. Uh, you know, it, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just real stuff. And, and, I, and I believe that this generation, not our generation, because believe it or not, we're getting on the older side excuse of the me, generation. Excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, and I can say that because I'm younger than he is. But you know what? I, I think there's a generation that's coming behind us yeah. that is looking for realism. They're looking for real people. Exactly. Living real Christian lives with no facade and just being who in themselves yeah. in God, through God's grace and God's being, goodness. Being authentic. Being authentic. Being That's the authentic, word I was looking being for. Being authentically holy. Mm. Not, not the person so heavenly minded or no earthly good, but being holy and, and being set apart. That's basically mm. what it means, yeah. being set apart. What's that song we sing in the church, for thy mission make me holy. That's true. Absolutely. So, and, uh, and I do believe we're going to sing that in a little while. I don't know if this is on the order of service. My I darling. thought I it was, but I anyway, maybe so. it's not. And, maybe, uh, maybe another week. No, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? For thy mission, make me holy. For thy service, make me something or other. And uh, you know, it, it's, it, again, it's in the obedience level, right? It's in the obedience. If we are obedient to God and we're asking God for thy mission, whatever it is you want me to be, salt and light in the world, in the darkness of this world, if you want me to be a light, if you want to be, me to be a shining light yeah. in the darkness of this world, I think I just remembered <laughs> what we're doing afterwards, you know, then <coughs> God helps us to do that. Yeah. And, yeah. and the holiness helps us in our mission. It helps us in the way we live, and God encourages us to not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind in Christ Jesus. And so as we allow ourselves to experience God's holiness, as we, again, uh, uh, when that Jesus gives us that bar to reach, every time we reach a little bit higher and a little bit higher, then our hearts are, are cleansed again and again. And so this is why Christianity and why Christian, a Christian difference matters. Uh, so when we blend in, when our boundaries are blurred or they disappear altogether, then, uh, then when our light in the darkness fades, when our salt loses its saltiness, or, or th when this yeah. shift happens, then we can remain solid on Christ the solid rock. And so it doesn't mean we disengage from the culture or, or you know, we are holier than thou. No. No, it just means that we are individuals on a journey trying to be more and more like Christ every day and to be salt and light in the world in which we live. And so the more that you and I as Christians talk about Christ, Look at, you know, uh, act like Christ, believe like Christ in the culture around us. You know, people will become less and less interested in the negative things that are happening around us. Exactly. And, uh, and so we want to, to, to just say that serving Jesus Christ can be an authentic relationship. It's not something that can be, yeah, we can put on airs if we wanted to. But you know what? Serving Jesus Christ can be authentic. It is real. Uh, and it is something that uh, I believe is the cry of the new generation that's coming behind us. And uh, we don't want to be uh, stumbling blocks in their way as we all together discover how to be salt in life and how to be uh, missional-minded in this uh, communities in which we live. 
And so I don't know about you, but I, I want to be that. I want to be the person who every day is seeking God's holiness and yeah. seeking God's love and his life. And uh, will I fail? Yes, absolutely. But that goes back to the words that we mentioned earlier about sin and repentance and how when we do fail, we can come to Jesus Christ with open arms and just say, Lord, I just made a mess of that. And he says, yeah, I know, but I forgive you and I love you. And so let's try it again and let's try it again together. Can I sing a song? You certainly that? can go right ahead and <laughs> sing a song. There's a song that just came to my mind. I'm just trying to find it here and I hope I can remember the words. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a casual Christian. I don't want to live, I don't want to live a lukewarm life. Cause I want to light up the night with his everlasting light. I don't want to be a casual Christian life. Beautiful. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a casual Christian. I don't want to live, I don't want to live a lukewarm life. Cause I want to light up the night where there's everlasting life. I don't want to live a casual Christian life. That's what it is to be holy, to light up the night with his everlasting life shining through you, the holiness of God shining through you. And you may be the light that someone needs to find their way home. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a casual Christian. I don't want to live, I don't want to live a lukewarm life. Cause I want to light up the night Where there's everlasting life I don't want to live a casual Christian life Let's pray together. Father God, we are so blessed. And Lord, even in these moments of how your spirit leads, how you direct and you change the focus in which we think we should be going and then we're, we're not going there and, and Lord we just want to follow you we just want to experience your goodness and your grace and so Lord we realize that the Christian life is a life of change it, the Christian life is a life that can be always growing and always pursuing righteousness and Lord we want to be compelled by the sanctifying shaping power of the Holy Spirit to change us from who we are to be who we are to who we are meant to be and then we can become the church that Jesus wants us to be and so father we believe in change we believe in change in our individual lives we believe in change in the corporate world in which we live we believe in change worldwide we believe in your mission worldwide and so father God may you just continue to bless us may we be the salt and light in this world so that others might come to know you as your Savior, as their Savior and Lord right now. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's, his face shine upon you and give you peace today. Maybe we could just conclude just again, just singing that little refrain. It's very easy to sing along very to. Very easy. Uh, we don't have the words. Uh, but you know what? Uh, it's just really easy. It's something that we can hum throughout the day even maybe. Uh, just as we uh, conclude this worship service today. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a casual Christian. I don't want to live, I don't want to live a lukewarm life. Because I want to light up the night with his everlasting light I don't want to live a casual Christian life I don't want to be, I don't want to be a casual Christian I don't want to live, I don't want to live a lukewarm life Cause I want to light up the night everlasting light I don't want to live a casual
individual Christian.